A map created by multiple people is better than one made by one guy. So, of course, this means collaborating with as many people as possible makes the map as good as possible, right? I got my viewers to collectively, democratically make a map, and it already became a dumpster fire on the first vote. They voted for the central cough point to be a pit with random depth. Then, of course, a train. This is a train that goes up through the entire map, but somehow they didn't want it to kill. Attached to it is the funny rock that looks like a dick, but also a trigger that pushes anyone who comes into contact with it. Then, across the top, two fort bridges. Somehow, they agreed to make the point the snake water pond, which was actually super cool, but immediately ruined with a rapidly spinning cow that kills you, heals you, and gives you the mad milk effect. Also, a hammer that triggers every time the point is capped. The spawn is, of course, high tower, with a banana peel into a water slide that takes you directly to the point. According to chat, the screaming is an important gameplay mechanic. The upper path has a line of saw blades, and the harvest barn flipped upside down, which leads into a turbine vent maze that forces you into go-kart mode, which has random holes in it you can fall out of, but eventually exits you at the enemy spawn. Next. They voted for Minecraft Parkour above the two fort bridges that gave you a rare spell. Launch pants next to the spawn room. Walls to block sight lines. Two fort sewers that connected under the point. This thin as possible staircase going up that outruns rockets. And of course, to entirely invalidate everything we've done so far, two dust bowls. Two copies of Dust Bowl's final point was added as a flank, that by vote, should still somehow have functional control points. So now, these three distinct areas work as if they are one continuous capture point. And for their last act, they inflated the spawn rooms by a random number and made it a one-way glass box. With that done, they voted to call the map finished. So, time to try it. Despite all the chaos, it was... playable. Which I think is because of the dust bowls. Trying to engage with the middle area or the pond is a mess. What made the most sense was the dust bowls. Try to cap the cough point on your dust bowl. If the enemies are doing the same, fuzz contesting the point, navigate across the map to stop them, or defend your point if they try to stop you. It was at least fun to do that. But that's about it. The map being bits of floating pieces make it quite hostile to anyone without reliable mobility, so most of the cast is sad. It's also sad trying to leave spawn, the ramp here is too steep to stand on, so people often slipped to their death. But I wouldn't say the map was a complete waste of time. In the chaos, I think chat managed to spark bits of worthwhile map design. For example, the vent go-karts. It can become an interesting risk-reward dynamic. Navigate a difficult path with the obtuse card controls to be rewarded with a powerful position. Get turned into a go-kart, and to turn back, 
you need to cross a risky sideline. The go-karts are also just really funny, somehow. The singular cough point being multiple distinct areas was ridiculous on paper, but in practice was actually pretty cool. Cough can sometimes have issues with being impossible to retake, so making the cough point multiple areas that the winning team needs to rotate between could work well. When the pond was completely dominated, the losing team could always resort to capping on their dust ball. So that's the people's 24 player cough map. After we played the map a few times, I asked chat to rate the map out of 10, to which, of course, the most common answer was 10 out of 10, and the second most common was 8 out of 10. Averaging all ratings, the map is a 6.79. The vast majority of people said they were a mix of both serious and silly, but somehow there's 5% more completely serious people than completely silly. In the end, Chad came away from the experience really wanting to make a serious 100 player map, so check the pinned comment, I'll do another round of Chad makes a map. Oh, also they held a strange metal tube to my head, demanding the map be on the 100 player server. Egan of Watergate added lights and made it less ugly, so it'll be up for a day or something if you want to see the 10 out of 10 masterpiece. That we're just running around like idiots.